hello friends welcome back and if you are new to our channel thank you for stopping by today i have a beautiful knitting pattern to share with you it is a four row pattern for which we need stitches in the multiple of 2 plus 2 so i have taken 12 into 2 24 plus 2 that is 26 stitches now after casting 26 stitches i have worked two rows of knit that is not the part of the pattern now let us start off with the first row of the pattern. Edge stitch is slipped off. After that I work 3 number of knit. Now what we do is we are going to work the 2 stitches together. Once that is done I do a yarn over and again work 2 stitches together. Now again a yarn over and work 2 number of stitches together. Now finally what is to be done is a yarn over and then I work three number of knit. So now if we count the stitches leaving the edge stitch we have 12 number of stitches on the right needle. So that sequence is to be repeated all over again. So we work three number of knit. This is the repeat pattern. Now I'm going to work the two stitches together. As there is a decrease I am going to increase one so a yarn over which is again followed by a decrease now again a yarn over and then I'm going to work the two stitches together again and finally a yarn over and see if we have we have four stitches on the left needle so after a yarn over I'm going to work three number of knit now the edge stitch is also going to be a knit so the first row of the pattern has come to an end it is a beautiful lacy pattern just wait and watch moving on to the second row of the pattern the edge stitch is slipped off after that it is very very easy we just need to pull all across this is the second row of the pattern now if the stitches look strange please just don't leave it we have to work pearl in all the stitches those are the yarn overs which look a little bit different from the regular stitches so here i am working the second row of the pattern as i told you this is a four row pattern a beautiful lacy pattern perfect for cardigans sweaters to be worn during the spring and the summers and it is uh, it is a four row pattern stitches required are in the multiple of two plus to the edge stitch so here finally the second row comes to an end the edge stitch is also a pearl move on to the third row of the pattern the edge stitch is slipped off after that i am going to work three number of knit this is always constant after that what i'm going to do is this time i am going to do a yarn over first and then the decrease again a yarn over then two stitches together now a yarn over again the two stitches together so we have got three number of increases or three number of yarn overs after that three number of knit one two and three so this completes our first set of pattern this sequence is to be repeated again now if we leave the edge stitch and count we have 12 stitches so let's repeat again three number of knit after that a yarn over as we are going to increase the stitch first and then decrease again a yarn over and then work the two stitches together now again a yarn over that's the third one and work the two stitches together now once that is done we have four stitches on the left needle out of which three we are going to knit one two and that's the third one and the edge stitch is also going to be a knit so a third row of the pattern has come to an end moving on to the fourth row of the pattern the edge stitch is slipped off or pulled after that i am just going to pull all across till the very last stitch this is the fourth row of the pattern which is equally easy 
where we just need to pull all across so let us continue working pull in all the stitches till the very last stitch So here I am almost at the end of this fourth row, the edge stitch is also going to be a pearl. So my fourth row comes to an end and the very first set of pattern is complete. This is how it looks. Now let's work the pattern one more time starting off with the first row, the edge stitch is slipped off. After that I work three number of knit, that is always constant, this is the first row so we are going to work the two stitches together then a yarn over after that again two stitches together a yarn over again the two stitches together now a yarn over because there has to be three yarn over and then i'm going to work three stitches which has to be a knit so if we count the stitches leaving the edge stitch we have 12 stitches in the right needle now the sequence is to be repeated so let us start off three number of knit one two and three now we are going to work the two stitches together followed by a yarn over two stitches together again followed by a yarn over two stitches together again and then a yarn over the final yarn over and i'm going to work three stitches which has to be knit now the edge stitch is also going to be a knit so the first row of the pattern has come to an end if you count we have 12 stitches let's move on to the second row of the pattern the edge stitch is slipped off or it is purled after that we just need to purl all across this is the second row of the pattern which is very very easy we just have to purl all across. Let us just relax and work our purl in each and every stitch. So here I am working the purl. This is my second row. And finally the edge stitch is also going to be a purl. So the second row has come to an end. Now let's move ahead to the third row of the pattern. The edge stitch is slipped off. After that three number of knit. One, two and three. Now there's going to be an increase first that is a yarn over and then work the two stitches together. Again a yarn over, work the two stitches together now a yarn over and again work the two stitches together after that I am going to work three number of knit one two and three now if you count the stitches leaving the edge stitch the right needle we have 12 number of stitch now let's repeat the sequence again three number of knit one two and three now i'm going to work uh, sorry i'm going to do a yarn over and then work the two stitches together now again a yarn over work the two stitches together again the third yarn over and work the two stitches together once that is done if we see our left needle we have four stitches now i am going to work three number of knit one two and three and the edge stitch is also going to be a knit so the third row of the pattern has come to an end see how nice it is looking moving on to the fourth row of the pattern the edge stitch is slipped off or it is purled after that i am going to purl all across till the very last stitch of the pattern this is the fourth row of the pattern so 
so here the fourth row is about to come to an end and the very last stitch is also going to be a purl so the second set of pattern is complete this is how a pattern looks a beautiful pattern now as i want the freshers also to try this pattern let's work the pattern one more time starting off with the first row of the pattern the edge stitch is slipped off after that three number of knit one two and three now the two stitches i am going to work together which is followed by a yarn over again two stitches together followed by a yarn over and two stitches together after that a yarn over and work three number of knit one two and three if we count the stitches we have 12 stitches on the right needle that is leaving out the edge stitch now let's repeat the sequence three number of knit one two and three work the two stitches together then a yarn over again work the two stitches together a yarn over work the two stitches together a yarn over because we have just done two yarn overs the third yarn over is stiff still left after that i work three number of knit and the edge stitch is also going to be a knit so here it is this is how it looks moving on to the second row of the pattern which is extremely easy we just need to pull all across So here working the second row of the pattern which is just to purl all across till the very last stitch. So here my second row comes to an end. See how beautiful the pattern is looking. Now let's move on to the third row of the pattern. The edge stitch is slipped off after that i work three number of knit once that is done we are going to do a yarn over first and then two stitches we work together again a yarn over work the two stitches together again a yarn over and work the two stitches together After that, I am going to work three number of knit. Now this sequence is to be repeated again. This is the third row of the pattern. Now let us repeat one more time. What we are going to do is work three number of knit first. One, two and three. Now a yarn over as we wish to increase. After that, two number of knit. Again a yarn over followed by two number of knit again a yarn over, yarn over sorry followed by two number of knit so we have got three increases after that we are going to work three number of knit one two and three and the edge stitch is also going to be a knit so the third row of the pattern has come to an end now let's move on to the fourth row of the pattern the edge stitch is slipped off after that we just need to pull all across this is the fourth row pattern which is very very easy again we just need to pull all across it is a four row pattern the two rows that is the second and the fourth are extremely easy we just need to pull all across and here our fourth row is also about to end it is a beautiful pattern perfect for sweaters cardigans mufflers jackets and i have shown the pattern numerous times so here my fourth row comes to an end so my dear friends this is how a pattern looks i have shown the pattern numerous times so that it becomes easy for you all to understand 
and thank you friends for staying till the end if you've liked the video do give a thumbs up share it with your friends and family members if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing and stay tuned for more of interesting videos so till we meet again it is bye bye from all of us here at plants crush it cooking and more bye bye